In this video, I'm going to introduce you to healing an image using the Spot Healing Brush tool and also the Healing Brush tool. You can see here I've got open healandclone.jpg. This is found within the Chapter 9 folder within your project files. To start healing, I'm going to come across and access the Spot Healing Brush tool. This tool essentially is very easy to use. It is really as simple as clicking around the image. Let me zoom in to actual pixels or 100% by pressing Ctrl, Alt, 0. Now that I can see this image at actual pixels, I'm going to hold down spacebar and I'm just going to click and drag down to the bottom of the image. And as you can see, we've got rocks and holes and all sorts of things within this image that I really want to remove. Now the Spot Healing Brush tool does a really great job of removing these things. All I need to do is come and click over any area that I want to remove just like this. When I let go, you can see that's been removed from the photo. Now what Photoshop Elements does is it finds a surrounding area close to the area you're trying to replace and it blends in the color and exposure and all the luminosity and things of all the surrounding pixels so you get a perfect removal of the object. Let's do a few more. I'll come down here and I'll click on this one. You can see that's removed quite nicely. I'll come up and grab this one and that's also done a very good job as well. Now one thing you might want to keep in handy when you're using this tool is your brush size. Sometimes it can help to grab a smaller brush and make the size of the brush pretty much as close as you can to the part of the image you're trying to replace. So let me go in here and reduce my brush size, maybe down to about 20. Now when I come out to the image area and I click and I can drag this time over that area and you'll see that does a very good replacement and the brush size just helps to keep it varied. Now we also have the ability to heal. Now if I grab the heal tool, which is found just beneath the spot healing brush tool, what this allows us to do is first sample a point that I want to use specifically to replace the area I'm trying to replace. Let me show you what I mean. First of all, I'm just going to adjust my brush size again by coming up here to the brush options and changing the diameter. As you can see here, I've got a brush that's around 45 pixels and that'll be fine. Now if I want to get rid of this big rock and I want to use this texture here specifically, I'll hold down Alt and this will let me sample just by clicking now that particular area. Now I'll let go of Alt and what you'll find is when I come and replace this area, it's sampling automatically from the area I sampled from. And as you can see, that's done a pretty good job of removing that rock. Now if I come over here with the healing brush tool and click and drag, what I'll find is I'm still referencing the texture back at this point. And that's because I don't have a lined on. If I have a lined on, now when I sample an area, like let's say down here, when I come and sample this area and just paint over that, you can see I've replaced that quite nicely. And when I go over to another area within the photo that I want to remove like this, you can see I'm sampling from the same distance away from the brush on the same angle, and that's really consistent. So you just got to remember, either you have that on or off, depending on whether you want to stay aligned or you want to sample from the same point of texture. Now, if you were to have another layer within your layers panel that you are retouching on, you'd need to select all layers to get this tool to work across the new layer. So just keep that in mind when you're working away. So remember the spot healing brush tool, this one here, allows you to just click around the image anywhere you like. Photoshop Elements will determine what area it uses to replace the area you're trying to get rid of. The healing brush tool, you need to hold down Alt and click in a certain area of texture and then go and paint over the area that you're trying to remove. So just keep that in mind.